How do I know those feature? How do I know? Yeah, one way you can know is to okay look for some online、uh, API documentation. But if you don't want to do that, you can use this feature dir string. This means that that you want to look up. Uh, you want the interpreter to list all the method is support in this,、uh, in this class. Okay, so you can see the capital dies. This is one I would like to demonstrate. Maybe、uh, some others. So、oh, we have been used in the strip, and maybe find later on. Where is the find? Yeah, here's. So a lot of the. Uh, features that you can explore. Okay, so、uh, capitalize. So our P is here. Say P. Yeah, you see the first character has been changed. Okay, P is still unchanged. So you need, if you need to override it, you need to kind of replace, right? Why? Why? Mm, string doesn't allow us to change the just one, okay?、Uh, unless you replace the whole, because、uh, it string data type is it is we call a、uh, immutable, okay? So which means、uh, even though you know string from、uh, let's see string length p thirteen p first first. Zero element is big P, a、uh, small letter P. Now I want to change it. Zero. I kind of override it. Can I? Can I? Yeah, I got a error message. They said that the string object does not support this kind of assignment. Okay, so you cannot do this directly assign. Okay,、uh, but you can you can call its master. And、uh, kind of override the whole string. Okay, reassign. Okay, so that's、uh, p. What else? P、uh, upper. Yeah, everything become the upper case. Okay, let's let's try slice. Right, shall we? Slice p. Uh, any any way, three to six. Actually, this is a three to、uh, five. Okay, let's check.、Uh, Python zero one two three. So three started to do edge four five. So it's a hung. <laughs> okay, six. So six is a is a Y space, right? Blank. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. So if I slice from the seven,、uh, let me check it again. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven, eight, nine, seven to nine. I'm going to get the is. Yeah. So. I'm kind of slices, okay. If if this is a word you want, maybe, <laughs> okay, you can do this. Okay, can p okay. You kind of truncate it, you know, parse it. Okay,、mm. and. I said that I would like to try、uh, find. Let's find the first one had the blank. Okay, the return result is number six. If you use the find, they will return to you the first, the first、uh, finding result and the return its location. Okay, so number six in this case is.、Uh, Where's my pen? Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm going to、uh, kind of re remove. 
how can I remove this? Not using this, I need to use a better way. But anyhow, uh, this one, number, here's a space, right? Here's another space, right? Okay, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this one is number 6. Okay. What if I want to find this one? Okay. Okay. I need to I need to uh send it again. But this time I need to give a new initial point because the the they already find number six is the the first one. So now I incremental by one. I use from the seven. Oh, they find the number nine is another one. Okay. If you keep the use the number six, you will get the same result in this case, right? Ooh, arrow. Okay, that's it. So you can use a find, uh, find particular space. Okay, let's see if I can find fun. Can I use this? Fun. Yeah. We can find the beginning point of the fun, right? So this is the basics of the uh, uh, string method. Uh, and what what about compare string? Can I do this? Uh, P Y is P Y greater than or equal to P Y force? Because of one, one string, one character different, right? And what about which one is larger? What do you think? Do you think it's a, it's a big letter, so it's a larger? Wow, surprising, right? <laughs> Why? 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 Okay, here comes why. Because the P, P, this letter in ASCII code, uh, we need another function to know it's ASCII code. It's 80. However, small letter P, ASCII code, is larger than the big letter P. Okay, if you forgot the ASCII code, we have the ASCII table uh, in our early chapter. I forgot uh, which chapter we were we were talking about that. So everything inside the uh, uh, inside the computer is computable uh, uh, if we see it as a binary number. Okay. So string in Python is computable. They use the same way. Okay. The same logic. They started to compare these two strings. They take the first character and they look at the, 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 the internal value. Okay, we call the ordinal. So of course, 120, uh, 112 small letter p is is larger than the bigger letter p. Okay, okay. If the first letter is equal, they started to compare the second one. Okay, we call the alphabetic. Uh, dictionary order okay so you can use a string as a logic to kind do kind of sorting too okay because uh, we can compare the string okay enough for the section string okay try try on your own your own way to discover how you manipulate the string in Python okay and put it put your exercise into your real project real practice. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.